what's up guys mario back again with our youtube video today i'm going to talk about diamond hands <laughs> just just playing guys all the side jokes aside i'm actually going to talk about gamestop and amc stock i know a lot of traders have kind of destroyed a lot of those diamond hand guys are getting beaten up pretty badly guys I actually sold my uh, Game stock as well as AMG stock a while back when pretty much Robinhood didn't allow people to, to buy anymore. That's when I sold, but I actually ended up buying again. And I'm gonna talk about in this video why I did that. It's all based on this pattern, all pure speculation, guys. Again, I don't, I don't want you guys to be following any of this stuff, guys. This is pure speculation. It's a very, very small percentage of my portfolio. It is based on a pattern called the dead can't bounce pattern, uh, all based on speculation, all technical analysis, no fundamental stuff, guys. Uh, so I want to talk about that in this video. Again, guys, if you have questions about GameStop, AMC stock, or any other stock, guys, hey, just ask me down below on the YouTube comments, guys. I'll answer all your questions, guys. That's what I'm here for. Uh, hey, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel down below. Let me share my screen and let's get started, guys, okay? All right. So... Let's see what's up going on with these diamond hands. You know, apparently, guys, these diamond hands didn't really work out so well. Um, and I'm going to explain uh, why. Uh, I mean, pretty simple, guys. You know, uh, they didn't allow people, get, uh, Robin Hood and other brokers didn't allow people to buy the stock no more. Or they were limited. I mean, it's basic, you know, uh, buy and supply and demand. You know, they're not allowed any demand. How is the stock going to go up? So one of the things that I do like now is that Robin Hood finally, allowed people to, to lifted all restrictions on GameStop and not only Rob, Robinhood, but other brokers as well, interactive brokers, uh, TD Ameritrade, like all these other brokers finally uh, lifted all restrictions. So what, is, what, what, I, what I'm referring to guys in terms of the debt camp bounce is, is pretty much this. Um, and I'm gonna kind of go over it here. Uh, this is a PD, I highly recommend you guys to kind of look into and read it more, but the debt can't bounce of investing. So pretty much what, it, what is this? So um, key takeaways, a debt can't bounce is a short-term recovery in a declining trend that does not indicate a reversal downtrend. So again, that's the reason why it's super speculative. It doesn't indicate that the reversal is over. All it is is gonna be a little bounce. And the reason why is because a debt can't bounce inclu includes a, uh, pretty much includes a clearing of short positions. And again, guys, uh, going back to the short, all these short sellers, all these hedge funds, you know, who are shorting, who added probably at the top, you know, they're going to have to cover. They're going to have to cover eventually uh, to cover their position and take some profits. And for me, especially GameStop, uh, 50 is a very, very important level. And uh, here's a, let me, let me kind of show you guys the technical stuff. Uh, let me see. Okay. I guess it's, Apparently not. There it is. There you go. So it really has to do with these, uh, these this, uh, this, this uh, volume right here in these days uh, that happened actually uh, mid-January. And it was all around that 50 level. So this is a lot of support area right here around that 50 and 40. Okay. So, um, so to me, I felt that, okay, we pretty much already uh, uh, been in a super downtrend all the way from the 400s, uh, we, there was a little, little, little bounce right here. You could say at 50. Uh, now going back to uh, to last week Friday, so there was a lot of there was a little squeeze right here at, at 50 area, and we kind of tested it again. Uh, it kind of like bounced over here, and it finally tested here at, uh, again. So and it actually broke above 50 uh, after hours, uh, and it actually started to sell off. So this is highly speculative, speculative guys. Um, doesn't mean this is gonna bounce. I just really feel that 50, the 50 level and the 40 level are very, very uh, important support areas. And I believe that a lot of these short sellers may cover in these areas, uh, you know, cause eventually all these short sellers or these hedge funds have to cover, they just have to. You know, if they don't cover, then how they're gonna take profits. So I think it's gonna be an area of support uh, where a lot of these, uh, you know, short sellers may cover. Again, pure speculation, guys. Uh, I just want to kind of emphasize that again, and uh, and kind of go over uh, the fundamental stuff. There isn't any. There, there really isn't no fundamental stuff. 
There's no press releases. Uh, there's no SEC filings that I'm aware of, uh, as well as AMC stock. No press releases, nothing. So it's pure, pure speculative. Um, and you see uh, AMC as well, AMC stock. Now let's, uh, actually, while well, that is loading, I want to kind of show you guys um, the uh, Finvis chart with some of the technical, like short interest and stuff like that. Uh, so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. So uh, in terms of GME, this is the reason why I am definitely a proponent that a bounce, a dead cap bounce is still going to happen because the short floor is still very high. There's still 122% short flow, which is pretty insane. I don't even know how is that even still possible, uh, but it's still there. It's still there. It still has a huge short interest and a very low flow, only 50 million uh, shares float. So um, if you look at the average volume, average volume is around 31 million. Uh, so it almost almost ro is rotating is all of its shares, you know, in one day, you know, which is pretty insane. So again, guys, uh, that is the reason why I think a bounce may happen. Now, again, pure speculated. Uh, look, finally, we got the AMC stock. So similar with AMC. Now, in terms of the uh, technical analysis, uh, it filled this gap. Um, and let me just kind of draw a little little circle here so you guys can kind of understand what I'm talking about the gap. The gap is pretty much between six and uh, and let's see, 520 around there. So pretty much already filled this. Uh, and if you look at the intraday, you know, it pretty much kind of filled it already. And it started to kind of bounce here at the uh, 550s, 540s. Uh, and actually pre-market on uh, AMC, it's actually looking pretty decent. It's not looking so bad at all. So I kind of like that. Um, so that's pretty much with the, with the AMC stock, uh, and, excuse me, AMC stock. So now looking at the, uh, let's look at the, uh, Finbis on AMC stock <clears throat> and see how it looks again, 38% short float, not as high as GME or gang stop, but it's still pretty high. And every time, uh, there is a move in GameStop, uh, AMC tends to move together. So that's very, very important. And I want to quickly uh, emphasize that as well. Um, so uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So again, guys, I um, want to quickly mention again, guys, this is pure speculation. It's a very, very small percentage of my portfolio. I did buy some GameStop a stock as well as AMC stock. Again, pure speculation. Um, if the downtrend continues, I may get out. Uh, but again, uh, you know, just based on speculation, based on this debt cap uh, bounce type of pattern, I really think that sooner or later, these short sellers have to cover it. They have to cover, especially now that they're hitting <clears throat> major support levels on the daily chart. Now, again, guys, uh, I'm not a financial advisor. This these videos are not for, these videos are only for learning and uh, entertainment purposes. Again, any questions, let me know down below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down to the channel down below. You guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys.